Welcome to Husbando Hub's 2022 Husbando Tier List, where my brother and I reflect on the hottest and best anime boys from this year's most popular anime. Of course, this is all just for fun and our opinions may differ from yours, so comment down below if we missed anyone and we'd love to see your rankings too. If you like this video, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel to embrace Husbando culture and spread the love for these amazing characters. Before we start, here are the rankings for our tier list. Legendary Husbandos are loved so widely that putting them anywhere else would be a crime against humanity. Top tier husbandos have the looks but have yet to achieve legendary status. Mid tier husbandos are respected but lack that special thing that the top tier and legendary husbandos have. Daddies are the husbandos that will care for you. And best boys are our precious boys that we must protect at all costs. And finally, the husband don't know tier is for husbandos we aren't familiar with or they just don't fit the other categories. With that said, let's fawn over these beautiful 2D men. Mines is first on our list. I don't know where to put him at all really. I haven't seen the show so you have to choose yourself. I really think that he should be in Legendary, but that's because I love the show so much. Yeah, I and mean, he, based on attractiveness, I'm not into skulls. What are you saying? <laughs> He's but, beautiful. Just the power he has but is, is So good. is he like a generic overpowered character? Or uh, does he actually have like personality? What are his goals? Like, is he no, cool? He has, he's pretty cool. He wants to rule the world. And he... I don't I, know. Sounds I, pretty uh, generic for... No, I'm kidding. That's fine. I can compromise a top tier, but if it was, if I was making a sole decision here, I would put him legendary. Okay. T top tier? Um, sure. <laughs> You're just giving it to me. All right. Next up is Aki. So this is where my bias comes in. I would put Aki in legendary because I think that oh, no. even though Chainsaw Man just came out, despite the fact that people have been into the manga for a long time, I think he's already solidifying himself as a legendary husbando. That's pretty crazy. I it's only seen that first episode, as you know, and I I don't see it yet. But maybe he'll probably grow on me. Wait, wait, no, honest. no. I think you saw the second one, right? Did, did were his testicles in danger at any point? No, nope. seen him on. Oh, okay, well, never mind. No, nope. <laughs> all right. So, anyways, throw him legendary. Trust me, take my word for it. He has a scene in the anime where he just does his morning routine, and it's beautiful. Okay, I've never been so happy watching someone brush their teeth what the heck yeah oh, wait he has like chainsaw teeth <laughs> chainsaw teeth yeah his teeth no. are all spiky so. no 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 no, no, no. <laughs> no but i'm saying that's when genji. i look at oh is it Genji? <laughs> yeah okay. but yeah like if there's a husbando that was introduced this year through anime I, I do think that aki would probably be number one for me armin's up next armin he's at a glow up he I, had such a glow up this season yeah well i don't know i feel like he, he must have known that his hair looked pretty terrible in the earlier <laughs> seasons yeah I guess he just didn't care. I mean, when your whole world is <laughs> run by Titans, does a haircut matter? But yeah, but if we're going based off, like, sure, he had a glow up this season, but I don't know. I still can't get past all those years with the, with the, with the haircut, you know? Maybe. Uh, I, I think I, I would I would go top tier still. Yeah, I would know a top tier I was fine with. Yeah. I just, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting him in Legendary. No way, because that's yeah. compared to like Aaron and Levi. And he's yeah, exactly. not there for sure. Bell is... <sighs> I don't know. I kind of want to throw him in like mid tier. I think we put him in best boy before, but I'm so disconnected from this show now that I, I, I don't too. really have a connection to him. So, he, yeah. and he seems sort of basic. Is that terrible to say? Well, I don't like, think it is, but it's sometimes insulting when we put other characters that we actually like in mid tier, but I think we'll be safe on this list this year. So th I think put him in mid tier this okay, time. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cause there's a lot of best boys that are so much, more of a best boy than him, at least from what I can tell fair, from what fair. we're about to face. And a great example of that is Bond. <laughs> the poor dog has his head cut off in this image here. That's terrible. Rude. I feel so bad. Um, That's actually awful. Come on. <laughs> it is. But yeah, he, he's a best boy for sure. He's from Spy X family, if you didn't know. Yeah, I know. I haven't seen it, but I could put him in best boys just without question. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, he's cute. He's an old he's so dog cute. too. And he's Wait, super does he talk? Fluffy. Uh, well, he says. That's, okay, that's, that's all. I, that's all I need. That's his anime <laughs> Japanese dub voice. So wow. <laughs> I think that's a, like a nice little bark there. But yeah, he's definitely a best boy. Bondrude, I threw him on there. Mm. I mean, I don't know why I threw him on there actually. He's he, <laughs> he's not even a, like any category on this list. He's just terrible. I'm trying to. Oh, I remember why. Why can't I, I recognize gonna, him from the picture? Oh, he's uh, from Maiden Abyss. Oh, okay. I was very confused yeah. from that picture. <laughs> He's the one who did tests and yeah. ruined our lives. Yeah, I'm going to... Oh. So I, I remember why I put him on the list now, though. I was going to ask you, do you think that he's attractive under that mask? There's no way. 
<laughs> uh, yeah, I also don't think so. Some people, yes. He pulls it off. But it's, in this his face case, is beautiful. The sparkling eyes. I bet you it's messed up. Just as messed up as he is. Where do we put him? He's man? a monster. Uh, just put him in husband. Don't know. Because what, what can we say? He's not anything else on this list. No, he's not. We really should probably we, put a trash tier. We need a trash tier. Oh, my gosh. Whatever. Dobby's up next. And <laughs> <laughs> we can go back up to the top of the list and throw him in top tier. We've talked about Dobby a couple times. I'm going to hover here for yeah, a second. <laughs> oh, on our top black tier, hair tier yeah. list, we did top, right? I, I don't know. I think he might have made it a legendary. Really? Maybe, maybe you're right. Mm. But he, I guess it's different too. This is uh, this is not black hair specifically. Yeah. So. Uh, whatever. It changes things. And, and obviously our judgments of these characters are fluid. It kind of changes really even from year to year, right? Like think about Bell. We used to have more respect for him. Yeah. And we haven't finished the most recent season. Maybe he'll, yeah, I maybe think he'll grow on us even more. But he is so likely. cool. The blue flames. I know. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> David, did you watch this anime? The cyberpunk anime? First episode. Oh, okay. I think David's a pretty wholesome dude. He's just, uh, he has a good life and things work out for him. So it didn't sound like things, <laughs> it didn't seem like things work out for him in the first episode, but yeah, no, he's, he suffers a lot. Just the, the tone of the show is not always the happiest, but I admire his resilience despite the things he goes through. And he does look cool as honestly, most characters yeah. do in that show. So like, I'd be comfortable uh, with a top tier placement. Yeah, his style's good enough that just from looking at him, let's put him up here. Yeah. Denji. Okay, this is the this is the chainsaw teeth. Yes. <laughs> That's right. The shark teeth. Yeah, shark teeth, but you gotta call it chainsaw teeth. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yep. I guess so. I think he's a best boy. He's pretty adorable. Yeah. I feel bad for him. Oh, I'm such a fool. I should have put Pochita on this list too. Hmm. His pup, the chainsaw puppy. Oh my gosh, you're right. Dang, I put bond, bond on here, but I didn't put Pochita. That's so rude. Okay, well, maybe I'm definitely going to throw in an edit oh with Pochita gosh. in at the end. Maybe we can make him a mascot for this video. Yeah. But yeah, Denji is, he's a very innocent character in a weird way, despite the fact that he's been through a lot as well. It seems like he just wanted simple things. Like he, Yeah, he just wants a good meal. He, he wants to experience... Um, emails <laughs> i don't really know what else to say but yeah he's he's a good guy just he's met some unfortunate circumstances but i, yeah. I think that easy yeah, best boy though. i think i think he's got good morals actually a lot of people i've heard don't think he's a good character no? um because he's yeah they don't, i don't think they think that he's that in depth but i don't know i beg to differ i think there's more to him than just like the little tropes and jokes that come along with him okay he's a pretty complex character but uh, the show's pretty fresh so We'll see how it turns out. Dio, he's uh, legendary for sure. He's <laughs> yeah. held that place for a while. So Aki, look out. <laughs> Here's yeah. the master of this tier. Still haven't seen the whole thing yet, but just from what I have seen, legendary. Yeah. And Nothing Dio, can compare to the show. I love it. I think that just all of the characters have been just more attractive as the seasons have come along. Yep. Like the the manga artist, I forget his name, but people always say how he, he's kind of found his style as he's created his manga he's like figuring it out the first couple seasons yeah and he's like okay this is it and uh yeah i think that dio the flamboyant vampire <laughs> boss is uh definitely a he's a good looker and he's a he's a great character so yeah legendary good voice actor too yeah for sure aaron yeager wow. <laughs> look at that guy i think i know what's <laughs> about to happen yeah we're getting two back-to-back -back legendaries he's currently whispering in our ear right now <laughs> put me in legendary <laughs> changing the fate that's true. <laughs> no, he deserves that spot for sure. Not something I would say in the earlier seasons, but just with fourth season, I, I think his it's glow a, up a definite. Yeah, <laughs> just with a glow up, it's it's a definite placement for him. Probably one of the biggest glow ups in anime history. Is that is that fair to say? Like, I felt like it was such a big change. Probably. I guess you could say like a lot of anime, the character stays pretty stagnant in their looks, and not always is there like a time skip too. But yeah, Aaron definitely benefited from that as did Armin and, and honestly most people in the show and I think yeah. Flock as well as our next character here and Flock's very Flock. divisive as we know yeah I'd say some people really like him they think that he's like <laughs> like a great character and, and I think he is he's, he's become a really good character I think he's become a lot more interesting yes but for me that doesn't mean that I necessarily like him mm -hmm. but what about his looks I think he pulls it off a little bit, a little bit. Got a good jawline. Got the hair to the side. If he had his, uh, if his hair was a little less bully. A little less bully. That's what I was <laughs> thinking too. Yeah. But it's gonna, it's still tough to drop him down to mid though. But we, we can, if you think, 
I, I think I think I would put him in mid tier still. Okay. But I, I'm acknowledging him as a, a good character, but husbando wise, I don't think he's top tier. Okay. I think the only thing is I bet you there's some people out there that would put him yeah, pretty probably. tall. Pretty I mean, yeah, pretty no. out there, yeah. He kind of took on Erwin's wishes and he became the devil to fight for the Eldians. So, mm -hmm. I mean, respect to him. But at the same time, I don't fully agree with everything that he's decided to do. And maybe that's a portion of why I'd put him in that mid-tier placement. Next up is Hajime Nagumo. This character, let's just put him in Husban. Don't know. I think we've ranked him before, but neither of us have watched the anime. But I love the eye patch. <laughs> okay. I love the eye patch. Good. Well, that can be uh, his compliment then. <laughs> Hawks, this is one that we have not included from My Hero. As you can probably tell if you've been on this channel for a while, um, we we have some repeats throughout the years with different animes because obviously like the good ones are going to come back each year. So we try to mix things up. And surprisingly, we haven't had Hawks on the list before, but I, I'm happy to have him here because I do think that he is a top tier as Bondo. For he sure. is. And he's so complex, his character as well. And uh, I had trust wings. issues with him uh, oh, for I a did. while. Yeah. I think the show definitely tried to do that to us, but... Yeah, like just the way he's set up, the the way he fights, it's so it's entertaining to watch. And yeah, he's just a cool character. His demeanor, it's great. Henry Henderson. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did we go straight to daddies or? Like uh... <laughs> oh, with, well, with a name like that, I think legendary, but don't yeah. actually. Do you know what anime he's from? Can you guess? Hmm, I can't guess. Okay, yeah, he's Spike's family. He's one of the teachers at the school that um, they send their daughter to, and. The look at that beard. Oh his, my God. Yeah, his whole thing is crazy elegance. And if there was an elegance tier, I think he'd be placed there. Otherwise, I don't really know where to place him. So a, a shirt, I get it. Daddy, he's old. I would maybe. <laughs> That's from an outside perspective. I know, I know. I'd probably throw him in maybe husband don't know unless there is an elegance tier. Okay, okay. But yeah, I think that the fans of the show could uh, respect that. Chiguri's up next. This is from Blue Lock. And they've kind of brought in a lot of great like husbando s characters just like haikyuu and other sports anime tend to do why does sports anime do that every time they make the coolest people yeah i don't know they're good at it but i respect it it's tough to say like i don't i don't know these characters full out yet but yeah i would still put them in maybe top tier i think all these characters are gonna end up being top tier similar like top to tier. and then maybe later tiers we ended up moving them up or down depending on how they develop probably yeah I like but. his character. He's, he's just, he's a very pretty character. I think they joke about him being a girl in the show just because of his hair, I think. Yeah, his hair color is cool. Yeah, no, he's definitely a cool character. Memorable. Mm -hmm. Ichigo, I suppose legendary, just based on how we judge that tier. Yeah. We've got to respect. He's been memory. around for quite some time, so. He deserves that. And plus, I hear Bleach coming back has been doing very well, so. I heard that as well. So I guess he deserves to be there even more so. Inosuke, I don't think he could ever break free from the best boy. No. Tier. So I guess we can just leave him there. What are you doing? Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's the boy. There we go. All right. Let's let him grow up and actually become Wait, a father. What? Oh, God. I just scary. imagined Inosuke as a father. It was so funny, though, when he first took off his uh, his mask. It's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> no one expected it. I know. And then in this season, too. Instant it, best boy. They dress him up, and it's like, wow. He is very pretty. Oh. <laughs> Jotaro. I suppose just throw him up there with Dio. Yep. Same vibe. Um, I, I think that uh, most of these characters from JoJo's deserve to be either top or legendary. Kazuya, I, I, I husband don't know. <laughs> I've heard bad things from his character too. What's what's he from? Um, he's from that sh that anime where they uh, rent. Oh, rent a girlfriend. Rent a girlfriend. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, the husband don't know. Kiyotaka. Like I, I personally think Kiyotaka, and this is based off the first season alone. Uh, I put him in a top tier because I liked his character development and I found him interesting. And it's those it's those dead eyes. <laughs> Such a weird way to phrase it. I know. It. <laughs> but look at those eyes. Like, I don't care. You can say whatever you want from me, but I don't care. Is he actually cool with the actions that he takes within the anime? Yeah, I liked him a lot. Okay, throw him up there. Ko's up next. This kid, uh, he's from Call of the Night, I believe the anime is called, and I have not seen it. I have not either. <laughs> uh, he's probably a best boy, but let's throw him in husband. Don't know. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't like read up on or watch enough to know like his character because I think that characters like him, they come from a show where the girl protagonist gets a lot more attention. So I wouldn't have much to say about him. But if this was like a waifu tier list, then I could say maybe more about the, the girl from that show. Yeah. Levi. Oh, wow. Levi. 
We've yeah, got I him can. in a couple tier lists now. I know, but can you notice what I did differently? Put him in his maid outfit? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully that changes things a little bit. I know bit. we're not ordering, but... Oh, no, I can't okay. pull that every time. <laughs> Just for fun to add some more context, we do bypass Levi a little bit since we've talked about him a lot. Do you think that you've lost any respect for his character um, in season four? No, I've, I don't think I've lost any respect at all. I still mm -hmm. think he, he's a very complex character, but he's also been hit pretty hard. Well, I don't want to spoil anything. Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. I've seen some discussion online. I'm pretty sure it's from his haters, though, who kind of make fun of him, I guess, for certain things that have occurred. Mm -hmm. But I do think that those who know Levi's character and respect him, understand that he's still Levi. And I mean, he's not just like the badass character. He's a lot more complex than that. So yeah, um, yeah. Well, regardless of the events, he's obviously still an amazing character. We got him in the main outfit. That should say enough. Yeah, I know. Why are we even discussing it? <laughs> Lloyd Forger is <laughs> another character that I think this year has solidified himself as a legendary. I'm kind of like foretelling that he'll remain relevant for a very long time. Yeah. Just because the anime is good and, and he's a really good character himself. He would make a very good uh, daddy as well, though. Mm, just considering that's his role within the show. Yeah, actually, let's throw him in daddy because we don't have anyone else. <laughs> yeah, we daddy. need some daddies. I'm a little worried that we won't find someone <laughs> for that tier. But, you know, my opinion, at least, I think that he's going to be legendary. Bachira, another character from Blue Lock. He's a character who's fun loving and happy but he's also like the type that has an insane side to him oh like the psycho snap yes, mode exactly so i he's another top tier from that show yeah I, I always like characters like that and yeah he seriously a, when they can just snap and they just go crazy mm -hmm. and unpredictable and that's characters. cool in a sport anime as well yeah very intimidating and he has a really good relationship with the main character which i like miyuki do you still think that he's top tier i do but that's because i think he's hilarious yeah you really gotta watch that last season yeah i do I do. Did you end up seeing it? No, but okay. I want to. Mob. Mob. <laughs> Speaking of final seasons, what a, what a great way to end everything off. I need to see it. I know. Seriously. You, you said do. it was so good. Yeah. And, and, and Mob's Mob. character development throughout the series is fantastic. I love Mob as a character. Mm -hmm. He's great. And then really this last season, I think just it makes him even better. So you've got to get on that. Throw so, in best boy. Yeah, yeah. best boy. <laughs> Look at the face. <laughs> just like... I don't know. Just it's so funny in the picture. Yeah, I mean those are dead eyes, aren't they? Yeah, he got, he got the pupils. He's shot. He's, he I only has the pupils. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry if I butcher this name, Narkiso, uh, Anasui. I don't. I've watched yeah. this, this season. I I just I don't know if I've ever paid attention to what his name was. <laughs> so this is is this JoJo? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I really like the pink hair. Yeah, it's pretty unique. Actually. It's very unique. They don't I don't think I've seen a character like characters. that. Yeah. Uh, I think he's probably fair to be a top tier. As we said, JoJo's okay. typically top tier legendary. Just um, on uniqueness alone, though, honestly, I, I'll stick him up here. Yeah. No, he's he's a cool guy. I think um, Weather Report is still my favorite. If I was going to mention, like, two Husbando type characters that mm -hmm. have come in this season. But we'll, we'll get there when we get there. Noe's up next. We've ranked him before despite not seeing his anime. So mm -hmm. I'm down to rank him again. And just on looks, that's all we can really do. Is it the fact we went out? Did we go off red eyes and, and whitish hair? Cause yeah, and the tan skin. I, yeah. th I think that's always a good combination. That like, is. It's great. He just looks like a husbando. Yes, exactly. And yeah, I think he's a vampire. And then that instantly made us put him in top tier, right? Yes, because that's, that's how I'm feeling right now. <laughs> and the show got a second season. So obviously, it, maybe it's something we should check out. Yeah. Oji-san's up next. What the heck? You <laughs> see this jawline? Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. <laughs> Wow. So wait, so is he a daddy or no, I think he's uh, an uncle? Because from here he looks like a daddy. But I'm sure I'm pretty sure the premise of the show is that he's an uncle and he was isekai'd into another world and he was like one of the OP characters there. He wakes up <laughs> in the hospital bed and he says, I don't know, let's just say to his nephew, he's like, Yeah, no, I was in a like another world and I became like the the strongest one there. And then he's like, Yeah, right. But then he uses his power and it actually works. And it's like, what? Oh my god, he's, he's he's telling the truth. With that said, I don't know where to put him <laughs> i think like he doesn't, he I, doesn't I look like a husbando from a yeah. distance unless you're just going off the jawline see this is what i'm talking about we're about to put this guy in mid-tier but then flocks there and i don't think that <laughs> they're comparable in characters but yeah, it's true whatever i, I throw him in mid-tier mid okay mid i think it's fine reagan's up next reagan oh. have, have we put him in legendary because i think we should put him in legendary i think he deserves it he's probably the, one of the best mentors out there mm-hmm <laughs> He seriously is. His character is so funny as well. 
Yeah, I would love to go out for drinks with him. <laughs> yeah, the stuff he comes off with on the spot too, his strategies as well. Yeah, you kind of have to accept him for who he is though. Too, yeah, right? yeah, He's yeah. a bit of a, uh, a liar. But... Bit of a liar. He makes <laughs> things happen just by yeah, saying them. It doesn't hurt anyone. Yeah. I think that's the key. Reg, he's best boy. For uh, sure. Yeah, I haven't seen the season that came out this year but because like choosing to watch that is choosing to have depression. <laughs> So I'm not sure when I want that, but it is an emotional commitment. Yes, it sure is. Unagami looks like if Ichigo picked up a soccer ball instead of a sword. <laughs> That's the vibes that I get from him right away. Yeah, I can see it. He's got that anime pro tag hair that you like. He does. And he's a very strong character. That's his thing on the field. Very okay. strong. Yeah, a lot of a lot of the characters from Blue Lock look interesting. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see the show just to, or at least more than episode one, to understand them. Yeah, no, they're all really cool. So I have tops here again. I suck at saying names like this. Sado, 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 Sado. Maybe I don't know. That sounds good, but I don't I think it's I like an I would have to be beside the A. Okay, maybe. Maui, <laughs> <Don't laughs> but both of his names are impossible to say. Anyways. He's the devil as a part-timer. Remember when this came out, I was really into it. And I think maybe over time, I'm not quite as into it, but... Well, geez, because it was years and years yeah. and years until the second season. Yeah, but it's, it's pretty funny. The fact that he's the devil and he's working part-time. Like, it's such a weird concept for, for a comedy, but uh, I, I liked him. I don't know if he's top tier, though. Would he be top tier, mid tier? That's up to you. I, I haven't seen it, but I think as a devil, he's... He's a pretty cute character. I'd expect Ainz to fit that devil role more, but I'm just saying random stuff at this point. But if Ainz is up there, let's throw the cute devil up there too. Okay. Aizawa, I think that he's... <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I was going to say it's... legendary, but then I saw Hawks in top tier, and I'm like, is one better than the other? That's such a hard decision. Oh my goodness. What do we do? No, we can... Do we, do, uh, do we hold out? Do we not? I think just because we put Hawks and Dobby in top tier, we should probably leave Aizawa in top tier as well. Mm -hmm. With the idea that all three of them could probably be pushed to legendary. They could be. Yeah, I agree. Let's put them there for now. Maybe we'll change our minds in a future tier list. We'll see. Yeah, or maybe even at the end. Yeah. Tanjiro, I think we should put him um, best boy. <laughs> we he hasn't escaped best boy yet. I think we put him top tier the first time, actually. Did we? Yeah. We, I think we talked about how we, we know that he's going to be, like, a husbando at some point. Yeah, he'll potentially be even legendary at some point, I would imagine. Yeah, definitely. Did you like... Uh, like what, what What would you think if he got his hair long again? What do you prefer for his character look or character design? I think the long hair would look... It looks cool in him. As an adult, if he got the long hair and yeah. tied it up, I think that'd be amazing. And got really jacked. Yes. <laughs> he already is Jack. Jeez. No, but like even more. Just oh, imagine well, him like uh a bulky like, boy. Like a man body. He just, yeah, he gets up. Okay. <laughs> Tangan, I, I I think that he's another character who's legendary. All right. Yeah. I I just there's three people from this year that I think have just achieved legendary because they're gonna stay relevant and Tangan's one of them. And I'm just going off visuals and I can see why he'd be legendary. Yeah, he's very cool. As the legendary tier fills in, I'm giving a lot of credit to those new characters that have come in who I think are going to be very relevant. Mm -hmm. I don't want to ignore those who already are. You want to just throw Aizawa, Dobby, and Hawks up in legendary? Yeah, let's give it to him. We'd feel bad at the end of the day if we didn't have them there. Yeah, I think that's fair. Jeez, now the pressure's on. Shigaraki's up next. Do we follow suit and throw him in legendary as well? I think no doubt. Yeah, that's fine with me. I think it's pretty safe to say that my hero does hold a, a strong place within the, the husbando world. So this is okay with I me. I think so. Vanitas is up next. And he is from the anime where the tan vampire dude is from. And he's attractive as well. Such, so. He has such a husbando look as well. Look at the, the contrast with the eyes and the hair and mm -hmm. the, the sharp jawline. Piercing. Yeah, the piercing on the side. Yeah, he's a good looker. He's just straight to top tier, right? Or is, yep. he, or is he more? No, he's top tier. Wakana Gojo. I hate that he has Gojo's name. First impressions, wholesome dude. Never seen it. Yeah, my dress up darling is where he's from. And I think he probably suffers the same fate as that black haired kid who's in Husband Don't Know at the end, where the female protagonist 
shines, I think, so much so that I don't really know or care about <laughs> him too much. Okay. So, so I don't know. I think that's okay. Yeah. And then Weather Report's up next. What kind of name is a Weather Report? <laughs> well, it's so he, funny. He, he must have an actual name. I, Maybe they've said it and I haven't caught okay. on, but there's a there's an I'm air of mystery it. to his character. So yeah. I don't even know if he knows his name. That's so funny. I, I literally was just taking it literally. His name is Weather yeah. Report. The other question I have is he's another character like Jotaro where it's like, is he wearing a hat or is that his hair? I'm going to say that he actually has hair under that hat, mm -hmm. but I'm not certain. Look at the neck muscles. Yeah, I know. If there, if there was hair under it, he would definitely hit top tier for sure, even without that and just wearing his weird little cloud hat uh, i think he's still top tier top tier yep yeah i think this guy's name is wine <laughs> or wayne it's w-e-i-n wine selama arbalest <laughs> there's gonna be someone in watching this like you said that's so wrong <laughs> yeah uh i don't even know what anime he's from i forget darn it oh yes the genius prince's guide to raising a nation out of debt uh husband don't know yeah and our final character from Blue Lock, Isagi, the main character, in fact. I don't think that he has even a unique look like the other characters, despite being the main character. I think that he's going to go through a lot of character development that is going to make me respect him a lot more. Mm -hmm. But honestly, right now, I do see him more as a mid than I would a top. Really? Yep. Yeah, I also can agree with that. Just by looking at him and looking at the other characters, yes. I would, I'd have more reason to put him in mid. And I feel others. that could be intentional. Like he is someone who seems below a lot of the people in this blue lock program, but I'm just pumped to actually see him become so strong to shock everyone. Mm -hmm. and at that point, that that's when I might see him more as a top tier. Yuri Breyer is up next. He's another character from Spy X Family. Through a okay. lot. Man. He's the brother of Yor. That's the wife that Lloyd ends up with. Mm -hmm. And he's very protective of her. So whenever he comes over, he, he's very hesitant to trust Lloyd and, and accept him as her husband. I feel yeah. like it's one of those things too, where he like loves Yor so much and he's like, no, you should stay with me and only love me. <laughs> Wait, so what tier were you thinking? I think that he's kind of like, I guess, maybe best boy based on the way he reacts that way. Yeah, that's sort of the, the cute little look too. Got the ear popping through guess, and he's yeah. blushy. Despite that, he is a, a cop, and I think he could cause some trouble in the show. So yeah. we'll see. But yeah, in, in most moments, I see him as a best boy. So I think that that's appropriate. And you just gives me more reason to wish that you've seen this final season because we keep throwing a mid-tier, but I want to know, yeah. like, does he have that glow-up that we hope he has? He, From what I've seen, he is still mid-tier. I, right. I can't take him out. But well, let's just leave him there, and if anyone... <laughs> if yeah, anyone tells us hardcore different. you fan, he's like, yeah. no, throw him up there, please. But he is, he seems to be the butt of every joke. Zeke, I think, uh, I think top tier. Top tier? Are yeah. we going to anger some people? I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking some people are going to be angry with Looking that. Looking pretty darn good. <laughs> Look at these traps. Yeah. The beard. Those packs. <laughs> My goodness. Can, can we make him a daddy? On Come on. We can. In a way, he's, he's like a daddy. Give, tell me why. In what variation of daddy are we referring to here? He just he just wants to take care of Aaron. Oh, if you want to do it, he's the brother daddy. The brother daddy. Okay. <laughs> People gonna be mad if I do disturbing. <laughs> I don't know. Dad, daddy's cool. Remember, We're doing it. Daddy can be like actual father, but can also be like he's a know, daddy figure. We'll daddy. give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna see that and be like, "What? Zeke can, Zeke's a daddy." And our last one, Zenitsu. There's no way he's out of best boy yet, right? He's still a best boy. Yeah, I think so. That's where we ended up putting Tanjiro and Inosuke, so I want to keep them together. Mm -hmm. But I think in this recent season, I, I'm growing so much more respect for him. So as he develops, I think he's just going to become cooler and cooler. And then, yeah, maybe he'll be top tier one day. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that. So first of all, we think Weather Report should be in the daddy's tier, honestly, just because he has a really thick neck. We want you to break free from the mid tier and be a best boy. And honestly, I think that probably more accurately represents his character. I literally have no clue why we even ranked OG Song because we haven't seen the anime. I think it was his confident glare that distracted us. And as promised, I have brought Pochita into the list and we can put him in the best boys category where he belongs. And there we go. That's our list. Remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment telling us who your favorite husbando is from our list. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.